What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today some more Galaxy Watch 4 coverage. If you guys saw the video yesterday, you know that Google Assistant is rolling out to the Galaxy Watch 4. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set the Google Assistant as your default assistant on the Galaxy Watch 4, and also show you how to change it so that the Galaxy Watch 4 triggers the Google Assistant when you long press the top button here instead of using Bixby. So let's talk about it really quickly. Uh, before we do, I want to mention again, just like I did yesterday, Samsung is rolling out a new product. And if you guys want to check it out, you can reserve it and get $50 off the new product that, that they are rolling out in a couple of weeks. I'm going to drop the link in the pinned comment description. It's just a landing page where you can check it out and sign up for an email and get a discount if you want. Let's talk about it now. Let's talk about Galaxy Watch 4. So the Google Assistant rolled out yesterday. If you didn't get it yet, I actually talked about how to get it, which is to go into the Play Store and uh, search for Google Assistant inside the Play Store on your Galaxy Watch 4 or Watch 4 Classic device. Now, in addition, what you can do is if you scroll down to where it says My Apps, you can actually find the updates in here and you can see I have Assistant installed here. So if you have updates that are waiting down here, you can also find it there. But now that everything is rolled out, you can actually find it in here. So if you just search using the keyboard like I did yesterday, now when you search for that, you're actually gonna see Google Assistant right there and you can install it from the Play Store. Now, once you've installed it from the Play Store, it's gonna ask you to set up the Assistant on your phone, make sure voice match is enabled and all that good stuff. If you already use voice, you know, you already Google Assistant on your Galaxy S22 or S21 or whatever your Samsung phone is that you have paired to your watch, then you're gonna be good to go. It's gonna automatically set it up on your watch. But you're gonna to wanna to set this as the default voice assistant to replace Bixby. And then you're also probably gonna want it to trigger a Google Assistant when you long press the key up here. So I'll show you guys really quick. When we long press this, now we get Google Assistant instead of Bixby. So to do that, go into the settings. And the first thing you're gonna do is go into apps. And then when you go to apps, choose default apps. And then right here, the second option is digital assistant app. So if you go into digital assistant app, you'll see default app right here, scroll down. And of course, Bixby voice is the default, which was installed on my device before. I changed that to Google Assistant now that it's there. It's gonna tell you that the Assistant app can read some of your information, some of that stuff. So just be aware and you know, obviously we know that. You can also choose, you know, use screenshot, use text from screen, some other things about the digital assistant. You can also change some of these settings inside the Google app. So if you go back down here to Google, which is at the bottom of the settings on your watch, and you tap on Assistant, there's a couple other things you can turn on or off. Hey Google, speech output, and then you can also get some information about the latest version. I just triggered my S22 Ultra. Uh, and turn off Assistant if you want to uh, from your account. So that's kind of where you can find the settings for a Google Assistant on your watch. Now, if you want also to trigger the Google Assistant when you long press the top button on your watch, you're gonna do that from within the Advanced Features menu. So you're gonna go into Advanced Features. There's a bunch of things in here, but you're gonna scroll down here to the bottom where it says Customize Keys. And then where it says Press and Hold, right here, the default is to wake Bixby. Um, you can also set it to you know, bring up the power menu, but if you scroll down, once you install Assistant, there's the option to make Assistant the default when you press and hold the top button up here. So I think that's a great option. That's what I'm gonna use to trigger the Assistant when I don't wanna use voice commands. I find it very simple and easy to use. You can also change the back key as well. So if you go down to short press, you can change this to show recent apps or go to previous screen, but there's not a lot of customization um, from the back key. So anyway, that's how you set Google Assistant as the default and also trigger it using the button press on the Galaxy Watch 4, Watch 4 Classic, now that you have your Google Assistant. I'm really loving the Google Assistant on the watch. It's much more intuitive to use for looking up information, more accurate, more robust than Bixby in a lot of situations. Even though Bixby is great for some things like Bixby routines, um, the Google Assistant is just a little better with getting information. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll have a lot more Samsung customization software videos coming up. Subscribe if you're into that kind of thing. Like and comment as well. If you guys want to join our giveaway, uh, I got that on my pinned comment. And if you want to join my newsletter, which I send out my themes, wallpapers, icon packs, all that kind of stuff if you're into customizing your device on a weekly basis, no spam, and maybe some giveaways thrown in there as well for you guys, you can hit the link below and also subscribe to that. I appreciate you guys checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.